Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got yo, we got Snoop cussing folks out, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it, they, people be bringing you there. You know what I mean? We got uh, Tory Lane's new life in prison, man. How that's going down, man? Making these guys sending a message to those of y'all that are riding to uh, Tory. Uh, we also got um, uh, what's going down in California, man? Fifty Cent got some words on that. Boosie speaking on um, uh, 1090J. Uh, Chris, Sean, Rock, and. The DA again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. Yo, we definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your task. Going to give it a tap, and that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. It's going to touch that to your check this out, man. I think your boy Donald Trump is getting ready to drop his first mixtape, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, look, look, how could he not, man? The man speaks like a rapper, don't he? Look, the man said, uh, I cap a rando from a window while I'm smoking on a Lucy. Free my nigga Kodak Black, you itch. I grab a bottle coochie. Close quote. You like, wait, wait, he ain't say that. Didn't he? He ain't say that. He ain't say banging on the ops let insurrections commence. <laughs> Back in racist cops <laughs> while we hang that ninja pence. You like, uh, what song is it? I don't know, but I know I, I said uh, ninja about 86 times now. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen. Uh, it's on his MAGA album. Never mind all of that. Are you aware that the same DA, uh, Fanny Willis, that hit Thugger with a Rico has now hit your favorite commander in chief rapper, Donald J. Trump, with a Rico charge, man? Take a listen to the DA explaining Trump's position all Gideon ish. Take a listen. Specifically, the indictment brings felony charges against Donald John Trump. Every individual charged in the indictment is charged with one count of violating Georgia's Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act through participation in a criminal enterprise in Fulton County, Georgia and elsewhere to accomplish the illegal goal of allowing Donald J. Trump to seize the presidential term of office beginning on January 20th, 21. Oh, she's so proud of herself. Ain't she? Look, and you honestly can't be mad at her, man, because, look, she's just a woman doing her job. Don't you be getting mad when you standing online at the customer service and a bunch of workers standing around, ain't nobody working? Ain't that your pet peeve? Now you got a woman doing her job and you looking at her crazy. Let her live. Let her work. Let her work. You wanted her to work? She working now. <laughs> listen, listen. Never mind that. Krishan Rock's woes continue with her getting assault charges for attacking or beating Woe Vicky. You like who? I don't know. Don't ask. Listen. Apparently, Krishan Rock fought a uh, uh, Woe Vicky on the Saturday show um, on 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 Zeus Baddies East. Okay. Uh, now now they now the fight happened because Vicky liked tweets. That criticized Krishan Rock. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> Look, you like a tweak and then get attacked for it? Look, you ain't never scroll past up to the next post and it automatically host the post. Like, like I don't know. Does that happen on Twitter? Because it happens on Insta, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm Insta all the way. All right? I'm team Android Zuckerberg over here. You see what I'm saying? We don't do tweets. I'm an adult. All right? I don't, look, I don't even like the word tweet. It sounds like something women do. Anyway, look, listen. Blueface chimed in and tweeted this. He said, quote, shaking my head. I told her not to go on that show. <laughs> free my son. Close quote. Not free. Look, he didn't say free Krishan of second degree assault. He said free my son that she's carrying. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like he don't mind if, if she's in prison as long as her stomach is sticking out past the bars. Now, listen, the CEO of the Zeus Network, Lemuel Plummer, is in denial the fight even happened, man. He said, quote, Krishan Rock has not gotten into a physical altercation with anyone on set during the filming of Baddie, Baddie's East. Anyone claiming otherwise is all cap. Close quote. Is cap? You CEO? Let me see what this guy Lemuel looks like. Let me take a look at what this guy Lemuel looks like because he said it's all cap. Okay. Okay, I can see it. I can, I can see it. It's cap. Everybody is cap. Lemuel said it's cap. It's cap. You know what I'm saying? I thought I thought Lemmy, the CEO of Zeus would have looked different because you know what I'm saying? You know, in media, you know what I'm saying? We always tend to see certain groups of uh, well, never mind all that. Listen. Uh we got a short video for today. Short video. I'm trying, I'm flying through these stories and I'm pretty proud of myself right now. This ninja boosie done spoke with Vlad on 1090 Jake. 
You like, he's still going on there? Listen, the man can do as he damn well pleases, man. Don't you do what you please. Is anybody trying to stop you? Let him talk to whoever he want to talk to, man. If he wants to talk to... If he wants to talk to DJ Vlad, then damn it, it is a free country. Let the man talk to DJ Vlad, regardless of how many people Vlad may have gotten locked up for his, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying he did, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, Listen, listen. He said the following, take a listen. Well, the double XL freshman issues are snitches. Right. They have paperwork. Right. You know what I'm saying? More and more and more and more and more. Like, more paperwork and more is and popping out of the like they just, it's just bro, like it's just, crazy. It's just, it's just bad, bro. It's just crazy. Appreciate 10, 9, and Jake, too, bro. Like, Yeah, you fuck with him? Yeah, I fuck with him, bro. If it wasn't for him, bro. Shit. And if he was a different color, <laughs> it'd be all grave. <laughs> oh, man, people more scared of him than me these days. Hey, bro, like, <laughs> I'm grateful for 10, 9, and Jake, bro. I smile every time. <laughs> we gotta get him on the show, man. You gotta uh, get to that. I'll, I'll put him hey, on, bro. You, like you bro, just submitted that, bro. Like you just submitted it. He wanted the last ones I got left, bro. Now look, listen. It probably didn't play because certain platforms don't share content like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll make money off a ninja, but they ain't gonna share no money with a ninja. You know what I'm saying? See, it's interesting. Uh, my girl on DL. My my girl on the DL. Okay, you know who you are. She said some of these platforms are not run by us she said the platform rap tv is run by a dude similar to vlad and 1090 jake she goes they use our culture to get rich okay um the downside is they don't try and speak knowledge to our people like celeb source does <laughs> look 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 we we attempt to do right by the culture sometimes we fall short of the bullseye you know what i mean now um dl dl said this. this is what she said she said they don't like to promote anything positive about our culture. Cut to Boosie speaking with Vlad. Talk about, oh, I appreciate 1090 Jake. I cuffs with him. If it weren't for 1090 Jake, like ish. If he wasn't a different guy, if he was a different color, it would be all gravy. I'm grateful for 1090 Jake. This is what Boosie's saying. He said, I smile every time. He one of the last ones I got left. Close quote. Let me tell you something, man. I'm just, you know. You probably should have already known this, but everybody is not walking in the same direction as you. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, the sooner you find that out, the better. Okay? I don't like... <laughs> you know what I remember? I remember during the, um, one of the elections when Trump was running, right? Uh, was it was it when Trump was running? It might have been when Obama was running. I think it was when Obama was running or something like that. And, and when he was trying to run... What they did was they tried to get like they they realized yo you know what it's the black vote you know what I'm saying so they tried to put a Republican that was a black dude on there because some people figure like oh you're only doing this because he's black well then let me try to confuse you and put another black person on there. now you gotta think <laughs> that's what the Republicans did I was like this is interesting the Republicans trying to make you think about the politics listen um listen listen not everybody is going in the same direction as you. Uh, and, and I, I learned that a long time ago, man. Don't, it don't matter just because, like, listen, I remember having black people try to rob me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not all like one million percent like all oh, all black people are good and white people are bad. It don't really work that way. You know what I'm saying? It does not work that way. If you think it worked that way, then your race is behind you to go somewhere. Uh, where am I at over here? Where am I at over here? Should I, should I do my shout outs? Uh, let me give you one more story. Listen. I said it was a short. Was I lying? I might not have been. Listen, on um, Saturday, Los Angeles Westfield Topanga Shopping Center, um, uh, a mall of look, 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 listen, a mob of people went on a robbing spree. You know what I'm saying? And it's being stated that folks stole approximately 100 k uh, one hundred thousand dollars in merchandise. Now, back in um, June, 50 Cent had stated this. He said, L.A. is finished. Watch how bad it gets out there. Now, he had said that when they announced that L.A. was now going to have a zero bail policy, which went into effect. Now, after the insanity that happened on Saturday, 50 Cent um, doubled down and he posted, quote, I told you L.A. was finished. OK, they're going to have to lock the doors and um, I guess purchases are going to have to be done by appointment only. Shaking my head. Close quote. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Look, 
Who'd want to go to a mall when you know at any given moment a flash mob of thieves is going to break out? You know what I'm saying? Look, take look, take off their clothes and steal jackets from Nordstrom. You know what I mean? And look, and it's almost even worse than that. 50 even posted them stealing a whole clothes rack of clothes. Take a look at this video. Stole a whole clothes rack. This is crazy. Y'all, y'all on camera. But I mean, I guess if it's zero bail, then that means they can just get right back out. But don't they still got to go to court? And then ain't they going to really, I mean, am I on misunderstanding something? This is very short sight. It's a very short sighted thing to do. You know what I mean? It, yes, it's zero bail, but they still, you still got to go to court, right? That don't mean the crime is like the stuff is free. It's not just a free fall. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. I don't know. Listen. Uh, let me do my shout outs. Let me see if I got any shout outs on deck. Yeah, we missed yesterday. Um, I had to take care of some business yesterday, man. You know what I mean? Something very, very important went down. And I had to, I had to hold it down. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, Nikeen, Nikeen eight said women, woman being masculine is a direct reflection of men not showing up for a long time. Don't tell me you're not taking responsibility. Nikeen, please don't tell me you're not taking responsibility, sis. She said we had to build it ourselves, protect ourselves, provide for ourselves and children. And now we are too masculine. Well, let us never forget the reason why. Listen, listen, Nikeen, listen. 70% of divorces are initiated by women, according to research. So let's not do this. I love all my women. I love y'all. Y'all soft and y'all super smart. Y'all incredible. Okay. Um, black women, you know what it is. I say black women run America. You know what I mean? They they make America run econo like economically. You know what I'm saying? The economics of how are the never mind all of that. Listen. Listen, okay? Uh take responsibility. Yeah. Alright? Take accountability, damn it. Okay? Some of them are masculine because they just think that's just the way to get things done. And perhaps, yeah, yeah, like like that's that's just what it is you know what i'm saying they, they they think that that's what it is or i don't know they think it's cool they think it's whatever and they choose they want to be more masculine all right don't be sitting around here being you're gonna make that on us but the other what about all the good things is that on us too or is it just the bad things is on us come on man you know what i'm saying we build it ourselves protect ourselves provide for ourselves and children you do all that for yourselves, but you don't take accountability for yourselves in this particular area of being super masculine. Just because you build or protect or provide, I don't know if that necessarily makes you... I mean, these are things that people do, but I don't know if that's all that encompasses being masculine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here? Um, okay, look. Sh Sh uh, what is it? Shakima Smith said, I do understand, but what women rappers aren't Wait, wait. I do understand, but what woman rappers aren't aggressive? It's an aggressive world, and got to be and and got to be selected with your niceness. I don't know what. I think what she said was that she understands why women rappers have to be aggressive because it is an aggressive world, and um, I don't know what she meant by it. Got to be selected with your niceness. Maybe you're not gonna get anywhere with your niceness. Perhaps. Perhaps. I don't know because um. You know what? A lot of a lot of a lot of white women in the industry don't seem to have to be aggressive. They only make it only seems like black women have to be super aggressive for some strange reason. Rappers, maybe aggressive is just maybe rap is an aggressive sport. Uh, listen, the uh, true rain said the I what's my time looking like? Because uh, I might be running over here. The irony. I look. I'm giving. I, I want to hear what y'all got to say. Thank you very much. So back on up. You want some news somewhere else? That you, you're free. You're free. I love giving people the freedom to walk. You got the freedom to get the hell up out of here. I ain't nobody holding it, holding you against your will. Please. I never want anyone held against the will of my True Rain said, the irony is Busta is one of the meanest, arrogant persons you will meet. Uh, um, he's talking about, you know, the last video. If he ain't like you or he don't like you. Needless to say, I witnessed the whole gifting. As a friend and due to my as a friend and due to my industry, I was backstage. Therefore, I was there when they cut the lights on in search of said chain. We all just watch her be gifted. 
The moral of the story is stop jumping around stage and back the F up and find your damn chain. Anyone who was there notices facts. The last concert on Thursday in Brooklyn. Okay, so it sounds like True Rain is saying she lost her damn chain. The chain that Buster gifted her, she lost that joint. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's terrible. Ain't it terrible? God, that's terrible. Uh, okay, listen, man. This is, this is the last shout out. Um, listen, fly at auntie. Okay. Uh, got the picture right here, man. Fly as auntie with uh, her grandma. All right. Uh, and, and grandma used to listen to Celeb Source, believe it or not. 97 years old. She used to listen to Celeb Source and be like, yo, put the, she'd tell, she tell Fly as auntie, put the preacher on, put the preacher on. I, now, I ain't no preacher. I'm just running my jibs over here. But she just, she felt it in her spirit. She said, put the preacher on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fly auntie grandma has passed away. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, man, and, and, and look, that, that was one of my older, older viewers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here? Uh, Miss Emma Lee, she passed away on um, August 5th of 2023, man. One of my older viewers, man, that showed that showed your boy celeb love, man. You know what I'm saying? So, man, sh- uh, shout out to Fly's auntie and the family, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out, shout out to all of y'all, man. You know what I mean? Emma Lee, man. One of, look, look, look. One of my one of my older viewers, man. You know what I'm saying? Golden Saint. You know what I mean? Shout out to the family. Much love to y'all. Kajawa Dukes, I see you. Yo, check this out. Um, uh, let's get right back to it. Wrap this bad boy up. Um, I right, listen, listen, man. Megan the Stallion has posted a strong message. Dare I say, last message to all those haters that did not believe her testimony that um, that uh, you know what I'm saying when she stated that Tory Lane shot her in the foot. She posted this. She said, "I just want to say, cuff all my haters. None of that issue was doing the same broke me." Close quote. You like who spoke against her? A lot of y'all spoke against her, man. You know what I'm saying? And before I apologized for not believing her, I most definitely questioned her story too. You know what I'm saying? Because quite frankly, no one is above cross-examination in my book. Just because you say it ain't happened don't mean I ain't going to cross-examine your ass. You know what I mean? And then they went to court and everything started coming out and it did not look good. And I was like, oh, I think he did it. Uh, now, now, Tory's setup is not looking so hot, man. You know what I'm saying? Details have come out about how he's going to be spending his days. And let me tell you, appreciate what you got going on right now. You know what I mean? Because the situation could be horribly bad. Like, the way it's bad for Tory. All right? It's being stated that he's staying in a county jail until he's brought to an intake center. And then, a California prison. And... They're keeping him separate from general population in the administrative segregation unit. Tory gets to leave his cell for two hours each day and remains by himself the whole time, which is enough to break almost any man. The man is allowed three hours of outdoor recreation time as well. Being trapped with your own thoughts is an insane nightmare, isn't it? Look, my mind, look, my mind was under crazy attack over the weekend, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a pool of toxic, antagonistic thoughts, man. I tried to drown out the thoughts of music, loud music, and Tetris effect. You see what I'm saying? It was horrible, okay? Look, 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 look. That man don't got no music to listen to to distract his mind. Just absolute solitude and quiet. You know what I'm saying? And heavens forbid the man has an internal monologue. You know what I mean? I don't have one. You know what I'm saying? Just a bunch of pitches. But just in my head, I don't got an internal mind. I just got a bunch of pictures that dance before my mind. Just a bunch of pictures. And finally, um, I didn't do too terribly on time. Listen, Snoop has cussed out Microsoft or EA or Madden, one of the one of the one of the groups, whatever. Take a listen to Snoop going ham because things ain't just going the way they're supposed to. Take a listen. Come on, man. That's two hours since the gang came out. Do I need to go on Instagram and cuss you motherfuckers out or y'all gonna fix this shit? I'm being nice and talking to you directly. I will go to Instagram and cuss you motherfuckers out like my friends want me to do right now. I'm trying to be cordial. Get this shit fucking fixed, man. What the fuck is y'all doing? You see that? <laughs> he, he's like, before I go on Instagram, you mean like like what we're looking at right now? If You mean the Insta we looking at right now? It's already here, Snoop. It's already out. We already see it. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, he cussed them out, man. Like, yo, get y'all itch together. Don't you appreciate people that work? Don't you? So don't you appreciate the DA, uh, Fannie Willis, who's at work, hard at work? you like, I do appreciate her for getting Trump. I don't appreciate her for getting Thugger, even though both of them are getting hit with the same charges. <laughs> okay, whatever. I don't know what you want to call that, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source of celeb news.